Biggins joins me now. It's so good to see you. And the thing that is so strange and still feels strange, you were 18. I was seven years old. I was alive when you could get put in jail just for being gay. I know, which was disgraceful. Absolutely shameful, disgraceful. Shameful. And of course, what happened was there was so much underground uh, de deviant happenings going on, which was terrible. And, and then the police going in uh, to lavatories where a lot of men met other men and pretending to be gay and then arresting these people. It was just ghastly what was Well, that going happened on. recently to poor George Michael. Oh, well, absolutely. So it, it still, it still I went, know, you know, I know. It, it still went off. But it was, it was a purposely thing that, that the police did, which I thought was disgraceful. But, you know, when I was, um, I remember when I left school at 16 and a half years old, I went to Salisbury Rep. Mm. So I was very lucky. But did know, you know that you were gay in your I think I did, but right. I, it wasn't sort of, you know, I was a very uh, working class, middle class family, and we right. it, it was never discussed. Right. In fact, I never discussed my sexuality ever with my parents. Did you not? Not to this day, but they've met my lovers, and they've met my partner, and so they know. So they know, they of know course, but it was never, I never never deemed it necessary to, to tell them. But, I mean, we, we, things have come on leaps and bounds. But, you know, in the early days when I was doing children's television, you had to be very, very careful. You know, when I was doing on Safari and rent goes oh, about being your sexuality because being gay could mean that you were a paedophile. What? Yes, pe people couldn't do anything. They couldn't see the differences. So you were working with children, so it was very, very difficult. Seriously? Seriously. So you had to keep reasonably it's not quiet. not that long ago. No, it's, it's not, not that, that long, long ago. ago. Looking back, when you were a young man and you were growing up, and, you know, you're trying to find your sexuality and yes. find your way in the world, you married a girl. You I married did. a woman. Now, what was all that about? Well, I think it was because of my upbringing. I thought that was what you had to do. You know, and, and luckily she became a very good friend yeah. and now lives in Australia and we still keep in contact. But it was it was a, a very difficult thing, you know, because... Mm -hmm. And then I, I suddenly realised too late, and of course I think this happens a lot. I think a lot of uh, gay men and perhaps gay women marry because they think it's right and then they... It's what's expected it's of It's what you, expected, I, exactly. I guess, and then I yeah. think that then causes lots and lots of problems, mm -hmm. obviously, in the relationship. And then, you know, it's, it's very difficult to be honest. And what is good is now more and more people can become honest. Mm -hmm. I mean, there were um, civil partnerships, which were just brilliant, because there's a wonderful story. There was an actor, a very famous actor, who was diagnosed with cancer and given a year to live. And it meant that if he hadn't gone to America to do terrible films mm -hmm. with big, huge people like Arnold Schwarzenegger to make money, his lifetime partner would have lost their house. Oh, jeez, because he had and no rights. Because he had no rights. Oh, and, of course, that was one of the most marvellous things that happened right. with civil partnerships and now with marriages. So, we, you know, it's good. So you found your soulmate. I did, Neil. We met in a nightclub in Glasgow. Um, was it Bennett's, was it? It was. Oh, I love Bennett's. <laughs> <laughs> I spent a lot of time in Bennett's over the years. Was it really Bennett's? It was. <laughs> So we met 30 years ago, and I was involved with someone else. I was being a bit naughty, and so it didn't work out. So we sort of saw, saw each other occasionally, and then uh, we, we finished. And then 10 years later, or no, less than 10 years, I think it was 10 years ago, I was on a flight coming, because Neil works for British Airways, on a flight coming back from uh, Barbados, and this stewardess said, oh, Mr Biggins, we have a mutual friend. So I said, who's that? She said, Neil Sinclair. And I said, oh, how is he? And she said, he's very well. And I said, you wouldn't give him my number. And he, I gave him, she gave him the number to, to him, and then uh, we met on Valentine's Day 23 years ago. We've been together ever since. Fantastic. And it's he's good. absolutely wonderful. He has to put up with a lot with me. I bet he does. Yes. I bet he does. But he does cope very well. But I, exactly. <laughs> and it is, it is fantastic that you, that you can be now open and you can talk about the fact that you've got, you know, you've been together for so long and you, you did have the civil partnership, obviously. We did, which was, which was marvellous. And, you know, and, and that's what everybody... I mean, I think that civil partnership should go to heterosexual couples. If they will, because it's very important to be protected right. by the government, by the state. You yeah, know. If you don't want to get, if you maybe don't feel If you don't want to get, get married, married, no, exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, and also there was a wonderful story about two spinsters um, of the parish who were in their 80s. And it meant that one of them died, the other one would get nothing. Mm. And this is the awful thing, you know, when you're sort of a, a couple yeah. in that yeah. area, yeah. It, it, it is disaster. 
I remember in the height of Surprise, Surprise with Cilla Black, I was, we were filming in Blackpool, and I was in a, a, a lavatory, a public lavatory, and I was in a hotel, and I was sitting on the loo, and across from the top, a man came and said, hello, Biggins, will you sign this for me? <laughs> and do you know what? I stood up and signed it. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine? And so, that, but that, that, uh, people have always been so nice to me. You know, I've never had, oh, you puff, or you, you, you know, I enough. Oh, good, I'm And glad. all of that, which has been great. Because sadly, some people still, still do. Which they is still do, sad. and it's, it should be stopped because it's, you know, and that, that's what was marvellous about charities like Stonewall, mm. who try and help so many young people. Mm. I fear for young people who can't cope and then do terrible things like commit suicide. Oh, it's awful, and it still awful. goes on. It's got to stop. Biggins, what a joy. And you too, darling. Great to talk to you. Really, really good to talk to you. Thank you so, so much for coming in.